when I tell you guys that Kimmy Cakes was sending his wife subliminals, I was right because now rumor on the curb is that Kim is whispering between her friends. She's goss gossiping, saying that Bianca Sensori is going to take the spotlight because Bianca is with her baby daddy and her ex-husband. And Kim is not liking the fact that Bianca has been getting a lot of media coverage. So basically, Kimmy Cakes is crying, saying that because she let him go, Bianca is about to get all of what she is accustomed to. And that is why Kim keeps crying herself to sleep at night because she truly misses having Ye in her life. Now, Kim is realizing that the grass ain't always greener on the other side. But I believe that if Kim, as I said to you guys, if Kim had only just taken a time for herself, you know, to analyze and assess things to see if that was what she, a divorce was what she really wanted, I believe that she would have discovered this before actually filing for a divorce. So just imagine, she claimed that when she was with this man, you know, she could not help him because he didn't want to get the help, you know, that was needed in order for him, for him to be, you know, acceptable to her. And um, she thought that was a very, very big problem. But at times, I believe that, you know, with just a little patience, because when you look at what social media is saying, many people are saying that they would never leave their husband who has a mental health problem and refused to get help because, and this is what many people said in the beginning as well. Um, they said that when Ye moved to Wyoming, knowing how the Kardashians, you know, pr promote themselves to be a tight knit family, they all should have moved to Wyoming the same time if they truly cared about him. And if they were there to consistently rally their support around Ye, show him that no matter what you think of us, no matter what you think we're about to do to you, we're all in this together and we ain't gonna leave you, not for a minute, then they believe that Ye would have gotten the help that they believe he needed. And I definitely agree with that we can see where they're behind Tristan Thompson every step of the way. I don't know why, but as you know, many people say, and as I say, Kim and Chris, you know, want that marriage for their show. And when Chloe is lacking, you know, and slacking in a relationship, Kim and Chris ensures that they fill in for Chloe. Just imagine if they had given Ye the support. If they had given him the support, then I believe that Kim and Ye would still be together. But if you look into it and if you really think about it, they really don't have patience. And whenever they can't control someone, they don't want to have anything to do with that individual. Take, for example, their own flesh and blood, Rob Kardashian. They find Rob very hard to deal with, difficult to help, and as such, you know, they discard Rob. And whenever, if you notice, even if Kim should post a photograph of Rob, she can only do so for a minute or two until Rob catches it. Rob Kardashian wants absolutely nothing to do with Kim. And we can argue, you know, to say, you know, siblings do have their differences, but the reality is Kim is a different creature. And I honestly believe that Kim has been extremely brutal to men when she can't have a way with them. She tried to belittle them and let them feel as though they're nothing. And this is something that we've seen where Kim has done with Ye. And what she does after doing this, she pretends as though she's a victim. She then cries in line and say that he brings up her sex tape at every single opportunity. And we know that that's not factual. As a matter of fact, Kim was proven to be telling a lie right there. So the reality is 
what is going on, you know, based on the word is that Kim keeps crying because she now realizes that she made a mistake by giving up her marriage, not fighting for her marriage, not fighting for her husband. And she misses that comfort that she had with Ye because Ye was Kim's knight and shining armor. So what is Kim doing now? She's trying to use mind games to get Ye's wife to, you know, stay away. So Kim is basically saying to, you know, Ye's wife, if you stay around, you know, if you have kids with him, now you're married to him, you're going to end up crying like me. But is Bianca stupid? Heck no, she's not. And based on how Ye and Bianca moves, you can tell that even though they move as one, as a team, Bianca has a mind of her own. She's not someone that is easily persuaded, easily led astray. If she was, you would see her on social media a lot, um, getting caught in the fast lane, getting caught, you know, doing numerous back-to-back -back plastic surgery procedures because she would feel as though she has to fit in instead of standing out. When you see a woman choosing to stand out instead of fit in, you can tell that that individual has no time to be jumping on anyone's band bandwagon and that individual is their own leader. They don't need anyone to lead them. They don't need anyone to make decisions for them. They know that they want a certain life for themselves and they are in charge of that. Not a bunch of strangers who have no idea who she is. And I believe this is what makes her even more likable and why the media will consistently be intrigued by her because she doesn't put out, you know, stuff out there. As a matter of fact, she doesn't put out anything out there. When we see Bianca, rarely is she ever saying anything. She's like, you know, that mystery woman. We know that she's Ye's wife. We know that she's an architect. We know she loves to live um, dress sexy. She's from Melbourne, Australia. But besides that, what else do we truly know about this woman? Really nothing. And many people are intrigued by that. So if Kim is sending or believe that she's sending this, this woman, you know, subliminal messages. She's smart enough to know not to fall for Kim Kardashian and her trick. She's um, smart enough to know the things that Kim has done in her relationship. She would never do it because they are two different women cut from different cloth, different personality. Kim was cultured into take him for all that you can and when he's at his weakest his most vulnerable state when he needs you the most that's when you're gonna up and leave him but no kim realizes that there's a lot more to life than material things like having someone there you know to be your best friend someone to talk to someone you can share your secrets secrets with and someone just to you know be that other half of you know that she realizes that she had that she had it the best what she had while it wasn't perfect it was damn good now that she has given it all up she is feeling that missing gap and there's no one she can search from now until a hundred years she will never find anyone like you because the reality is there's just one yay i believe that Ye has done well enough to, you know, fought for his marriage and prove to her that he wants to stay married to her, but she didn't want it at the time that he wanted it. So I believe that it's time for her to pick up the pieces, move on, stop crying about what could have been, you know, the mistakes that you've made, the mistakes that he has made, because that's not going to help you at this point. Kim needs to focus on you know, just living her best life as a single mom, the current path that she's on. She's the one who consciously chose this path for herself. She believed that it was the best route for her to take. And I believe that she just needs to, you know, get some tough skin and just do the right thing for herself and her kids. Instead of using the media, using his name for clout, we know that you miss him, girl, but it's time to move on. And that's just all I have to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are 
about Kim crying herself to sleep because Ye is no longer there for her. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care. See you all next time. Bye guys!